12 minutes, no commercials on TV and on the go on the 12 News app, Facebook and YouTube. Hey guys, it's Tram here. Right now we have breaking news. Arizona Congresswoman Ann Kirkpatrick says she is taking time off from her congressional duties to seek treatment for alcohol dependence following a serious fall. The Democrat says she's, quote, finally seeking this help after struggling to do so in the past, end quote. Kirkpatrick says with physical therapy, she can fully recover from her fall last week. Kirkpatrick represents a swing district in Tucson and southeastern Arizona. Now to today's talker, the news is out. Larry Fitzgerald has re-signed with your Arizona Cardinals. So how far will the cards go with Fitz back? Is it less than eight wins, more than eight wins, the playoffs, or the Super Bowl? Cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or comment down below if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. The results just minutes away. And that topic is our number one hashtag most clicked. The story peaking's Peaking everyone's interest right now. It's fantastic news for Cardinals fans. Legend Larry Fitzgerald will be returning to the Arizona Cardinals next season. He signed a one year contract, making next season his 17th with the Cardinals. In franchise history, only QB Jim Hart will have played more seasons than Fitz. Hart had one more with 18. In December, Fitzgerald was one of 10 wide receivers named to the NFL 100 all-time team. At number two, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announcing the managers who will be prosecutors in President Trump's impeachment Senate trial. Among the seven managers, Representative Adam Schiff of California will be taking the lead role. The House just voted to send the articles of impeachment to the Senate. The articles will now be physically walked across the Capitol to the Senate. And gold medal gymnast Ali Raisman says she will not be competing in the Summer Olympics. The two-time Olympian took to social media to confirm she will not be going to Tokyo. Raisman, who was originally online to address retirement rumors, says she was caught off guard with reports of her leaving the sport, but did want to share with followers she was not competing in Tokyo. Raisman was captain of the gold medal winning teams in 2012 and 16. She had earned six Olympic medals. Well, keeping you safe now, if your New Year's resolution is to work out more, be careful of what you leave in your car. Gym memberships surge in January, and Goodyear police have put out a video warning of people smashing and grabbing. They say thieves are now also targeting gyms with classes where they know people will be inside for a specific time frame. Experts recommend going to the gym during the day, parking in well-lit areas, and never leaving your valuables in your car. Saving you money, a new calculator will actually break down exactly how much you spend on clothes and the impact your wardrobe has on the environment. E-consignment platform ThreadUp has created a fashion footprint calculator. So here's how it works. It'll ask you a series of questions like how often do you buy clothes, your laundry habits, and whether you repair clothes or you just toss them. It'll then calculate the carbon footprint of your closet and give you tips on how to reduce it. Checking your pulse on health now, sleep. It's what the doctor ordered when it comes to feeling better, right? A new study shows during sleep, your brain is actually clearing out waste that builds up during the day, getting rid of toxins. Your brain also uses sleep to sort out the chaos of the day. So sleeping on a tough decision is actually beneficial. Women who suffer pregnancy loss may face an increased risk of PTSD. That's according to new research out of the United Kingdom. The study tracked more than 650 women who had an early miscarriage. Nine months later, one in six of the women had symptoms of PTSD. Many said they had intrusive or unwanted thoughts about their miscarriage, and others reported nightmares or flashbacks. Well, eating more vegetables may not slow down the progression of prostate cancer. California researchers looked at nearly 500 men who were diagnosed with early stage prostate cancer. One group was given written information about diet and cancer. The second group was told to eat at least seven servings of veggies every day. Two years later, patients in the veggie group did not show a greater decline in the cancer's progression than those in the control group. Still, scientists say eating a diet rich in produce is very important, especially for cancer patients. Well, it is another gorgeous winter day in the Valley of the Sun. Here's Crystal with your forecast 411. 
I think it's safe to say that winter in Arizona is unofficially canceled. Typically this time of year, the mercury stops at about 67 degrees. Give it 10 days, we call it 68. Early February, on the verge of 70, and then finally breaking into the low 70s later on next month. So that means temperatures this afternoon are more reminiscent of what we would expect to read on the thermometer a month and a half from now. Now at night is when winter makes its presence known. We'll tumble to 28 in Flagstaff. Temperatures will fall off to 37 in Payson and 51 tonight in Phoenix. Tomorrow in Quartzsite, the day's going to be spent in the 70s. 71 will also do it for Phoenix, 73 in Gila Bend and Yuma at 72. There's just one monkey wrench to throw in our seemingly perfect seven-day forecast. A storm system is going to give us a very small chance for some sprinkles on Thursday. It's going to knock back temperatures Friday briefly. Then temperatures bounce back into the 70s once again starting the weekend. Talk about a true American hero. A World War II veteran is feeling the love, lots of it, just weeks before Valentine's Day. Major Bill White, a retired Marine, is a beloved figure at his senior living center near San Francisco. And, and at 104 years old, he's perhaps the oldest living Marine. Major White, a Purple Heart recipient, was in Iwo Jima when soldiers raised the U.S. flag over Mount Suribachi. He was underneath the second flag, and now love letters are pouring in for him from coast to coast. I'm surprised to say the least. <laughs> I, I, I hadn't expected any of this until, until all of a sudden it happened. I just don't know what to say or think or do when this subject is brought up because it's, it's it, 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 it hits me like a ton of bricks. You know? Oh, so well deserved. And he looks great at 104. The Valentine's Day cards keep coming in thanks to a social media post from his friends and family asking people to honor Major White's life and service. If you'd like to send him a card, just go to our website, 12news.com. Well, koalas are taking over New York City. Well, kind of. Plush koalas have been popping up thanks to Koalas of New York. It's a group dedicated to raising funds for species impacted by the Australian wildfires. The stuffed animals have been hanging all around the city, from Central Park to the Brooklyn Bridge, even Rockefeller Center. Each koala comes with a tag that has a code for people to donate. At last check, that group raised more than 10 grand. This next story is getting a lot of attention. A Utah man got locked inside his gym. Dan Hill had to call 911 and tell him he was locked inside a 24-hour fitness. Dan was swimming laps when employees shut down for the night. He says he was scared to unlock the doors because the alarms would go off. So he just passed the time by by taking a lot of selfies and posting them to Facebook. And that's how police actually found out and then came to get him out. Look at his face. Well, Baby Yoda just gets bigger and bigger. From the hit Disney Plus show, The Mandalorian, to a Build-A-Bear workshop near you, a prototype of a new plush figure was unveiled at a conference in Florida. And like most toy companies, Build-A-Bear was left in the dark about the surprise character, so it had to work quickly to create a product based on the child in order to meet growing demand. The two female astronauts on the International Space Station are performing another spacewalk today. Flight engineers Jessica Mir and Christina Koch are replacing nickel hydrogen batteries with new lithium ion batteries. Those batteries store power from the ISS solar rays. This is the first of two spacewalks to complete the project. The second one is set for January 20th. Time now for A to Z 60, where we celebrate the people, places, and things that make the valley so awesome in just 60 seconds. It is a car lover's paradise right here in the valley. Russo and Steel rolls into the valley today, and Ryan got to check out some pretty sweet rides. I'm standing here with a car collection that is so rare and so expensive, I'm not even allowed to tell you where we are right now. Well, welcome to Josephine and I's Batcave. I appreciate it. Drew Alcazar here, the owner of all these beautiful vehicles here. Why is this so important to have? You know, this is uh, just a, our personal collection. We're road rallying, vintage racing, Concord Elegant showing our cars all year long at different events. Uh, so this is kind of our personal private stash, or at least some of them anyway. I imagine all these cars have a real personal story to you, but does one stick out more than any of the others? 
The Jag that's right behind us, the 1967 uh, Series 1 E-Type, uh, is pretty special. This is Josephine's very first car. Her first car. How she talked her dad into age at 16 in Phoenix, Arizona to buy her a black Jag Roadster, I have no idea, but uh, I restored this for her for her 55th birthday. Safe to say none of these cars are for sale, but Russo & Steel does have a huge auction coming up January 15th through the 19th, Scottsdale Road and the 101. And that's your A to Z60. But where's my VW bug? Seriously. Well, back to today's talker. How far will the cards go with Fitz back? Less than eight wins, more than eight playoffs, or the Super Bowl? You can tell right now, 61% of you say more than eight wins, and less than eight wins coming in at 17%. Playoffs and Super Bowl, just 11. Keep voting on 12news.com slash bullhorn, and those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, comment down below. And that's your 12 at 12, the facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes, no commercials. We're always on anywhere, anytime on 12news.com, the 12 News app, and our socials as well. Have a beautiful day, everyone. We'll see you back here again soon. And Arizona Midday is taking a walk on the wild side. Let's check in with Destry to see what's coming up next. Destry. Up next on Arizona Midday, meet a wallaby. We have one in studio for you today. We're going to tell you about a really important show from ASU Gay.